Super Eagles technical advisor Janet Roy says the team has studied Serbia's last international friendly against Morocco and his side will be well prepared for tonight's clash. Coach Roy says the team will not underrate the Serbians following the 2-1 defeat against Morocco as they will be coming all out to make up for the loss against an African opponent when they face the Super Eagles. Uh, of course, we look all the time on our opponent. We had uh, an analyzer who prepared for us the video. It was interesting. They played very well. They had a lot of opportunities, but only scored once. <coughs> and uh, they have so many strikers, international level. You see the teams where they are playing, in Italy, in England, or in other good football countries. So uh, it will be a very, very big test for us again. Of course, we only lost one time since we are together in two years, but uh, all can happen. We never can win all the time. Meanwhile, Serbia's midfielder Dusan Tadic says the game against Nigeria at the Barnet FC Stadium in London is vital to the team. The Southampton player says the team will be playing to avoid another defeat to an African opponent after Friday's defeat to Morocco. Yes, I think uh, every Every game is very important uh, uh, to have some game to improve yourself and uh, during the qualification we play different system and now we play also different system and uh, we need to adapt on uh, what uh, coach asks from us and uh, I think uh, we are doing uh, good, we have some uh, good things but also other things what they are not good, we, we try to correct every day with, uh, with coach and everyone with, uh, with him and uh, this is very important for us and uh, we just try to prepare best as possible for World Cup and every friendly game is important for that. So let's get more on the story from the Super Eagles media officer Tony Ibitoi. Thanks so much for joining us on Network Africa. Thank you for the opportunity and being on the show. Now, tell me, it's Nigeria versus Serbia tonight. What does the technical crew of the Super Eagles intend to achieve with this match? Well, essentially, being um, a pre World Cup friendly, uh, our interest in now is on how to improve our team, uh, make the team play better, uh, get the team to be a lot more confident. Uh, and help us to build a good intensity and a good momentum towards the World Cup. Um, could Gennaro Tro at that uh, press, press conference yesterday uh, talked about the result not being too important, uh, uh, but that he wants the team to play together, develop better chemistry, uh, uh, and of course uh, be better exposed as we prepare for the World Cup. So essentially for us, um, that's what we want to see. We want to see how our boys, our team will react. Uh, we want to see how they understand what the coaches want them to do. Uh, and more importantly, we want to put them in a very good stead, uh, good shape, in good momentum um, for the World Cup that will be starting in a few weeks from now. So, Tony, is Serbia an ideal test for a Nigerian team preparing for the World Cup? Yeah, it is. Um, Serbia is a very good test. Um, Serbia will also be going to the World Cup. Serbia are better ranked than uh, Nigeria. Uh, in the FIFA rankings, and, and they have a lot of very good players who um, are amongst the best in the world, and they will give us a very good test. They are physically very strong, uh, and so they will give us a very good test, the kind of um, rehearsal that we want uh, before the World Cup. As Coach Gennaro Tro um, said in that, in, in that press conference, they have players in some of the best clubs in Europe. Um, so it's a fantastic test for us. Um, helps us to have an idea of what we will face where we meet Croatia at the World Cup. So it's, it's, um, it's a fantastic. We must commend the Nigerian football and the NFF match agent uh, for getting us such a quality team like uh, Serbia. Just like we played Poland last Friday, this is a fantastic test for us ahead of the World Cup. So what should we be expecting differently from the Super Eagles tonight? Yeah, more importantly, we want to have a team that will play and uh, give Nigerians reasons to, to be hopeful, to be expectant of a good World Cup. Um, if we win, like we did against Poland on Friday, it's going to be a good bonus for us. Uh, but more importantly, as uh, our coach said, um, we want to see other players. We want to see what quality they have. What can they do under some match uh, situations? How do we react 
uh, to some match situations and, of course, get some exposure for our players, um, get some experience for some young players as well, and uh, build a very good team uh, chemistry, team bonding, uh, and also be able to test a few uh, tactical options for us um, when um, we go to Russia for the World Cup. So it's, it's fantastic for us. We, we hope to play well. We hope to win um, so that Nigerians can have a foretaste of um, uh, what the Eagles will be offering at the World Cup. Super Eagles Media Officer Tony Bitoye, thanks so much for joining us on Network Africa. Thanks, Dr.